Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, I will show you how to make a 3D powerful impact logo reveal animation in After Effects with Element 3D plugin. Before starting the tutorial, let's see the preview. To make this 3D intro, I use some stock footages. You can download all of them from the link in description. Let's start by creating a new composition. I am going with 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel, 30 frame rate per second, and duration 10 seconds. Now create a new solid, rename it to logo mask, and select a color for it. Click OK. Open your logo in Illustrator. Copy the logo from here. Now back to After Effects and paste the logo in this layer. Create another new solid and rename it Element 3D. Now you can hide the logo mask. Select Element 3D layer. Go to Effects and Presets. Apply Element 3D on it. If you don't have Element 3D plugin, you can download it from Video Copilot. I will provide the download link in description. Now in Element 3D options, Go to Custom Layers, then Custom Texts and Masks. Select your logo mask here. After that, click on the Scene Setup. It will open Element 3D. We will make our logo 3D here. Click on Extrude. Here is our 3D logo. We need to do some customization on it. Go to Path Resolution and select Extreme. It will increase logo quality. Now select bevel 1 and adjust X road value. For this logo, I will use 3. Now apply a material on it. I will use Prashadis to material a pack for this. You can use any material on it or can create your own. Now create plane for ground layer. Extend its size 100 by 100. Now drag this down like this. Apply material for this ground layer. I will use Elite Shaders for this. You can download this material textures from the link in description. Rename both of these layers. Select the logo and set Auxiliary Channel 1, and for Ground, select Auxiliary Channel 2. Now click OK, and back to After Effects. Create a camera for 3D layer. I am going with 80mm camera for this logo. Now select Element 3D, go to Render, Fork, adjust its setting like this. Now we need to create background. For this, I will use a cloudy lighting strum sky footage. Download link I will provide in description. Drag it to timeline and pre-compose it. Rename it and select move all attributes to new layer. Select the pen tool and mask the sky like me. Adjust its position and add feather on it. Now select element 3D. Go to group 1, forward around 1 second, then auxiliary channel 1. Let's animate the logo with its position. Create a keyframe in this position, back to first frame. Now drag this position to up like this. Now animate its rotation.
Select all of these keyframe. Make them easy ease. Go to graph editor. Make the graph like this. I used the same process to animate the ground layer. Select the sky layer and add box blur on it. Check this repeat edge option and set blur radius 5. Go to Projet and drag the explosion footage to timeline. Make it 3D, then rotate it like this. Change its blending mode to screen and then adjust its position to ground. Set the explosion starting point from 1 second. Drag this smoke up down footage to timeline. Have a big explosion footage. Change its blending mode to screen. Go to effects and presets. Apply tint effect on it. Set its color like this. Now drag this smoke footage to timeline. Also change its blending mode to screen. Select the smoke footage, set the opacity 60%. Now we need to create shake effect when the logo hit the ground. For this, create a new adjustment layer. Rename it to shake. Go to effects and presets, apply wiggle position effect on it. Create a keyframe on wiggle position at one second. Backward 15 frame and set wiggle position value 0. Now forward 15 frame and set wiggle position value 0. Now when the logo hit the ground, we will see a shake effect. Now need to do some color correction. For this, again, create another new adjustment layer. Rename it Curves. Go to Effects and Presets. Apply curves on it. Adjust the curve according to your needs. Now create new composition for render. Drag the main composition on it. Add sound effect. Select main composition. Press S from keyboard. Set the scale value 105. Now our 3D logo animation is ready to render. Before render it, let's see preview. Okay, now let's render this. Go to composition. Add to render queue. Select video format. I am using Aftercode MP4. Turn on the audio from here. Now select the output folder where you want to save your intro. Now turn on caps lock from your keyboard and click on render icon. So, this was the tutorial for today. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helps you, please make sure to subscribe, like this video. And don't forget to share your comment about this tutorial.